Today is day two of our passage from the Gambier to Rivoli in the Austral Islands. So far we've had absolutely beautiful sailing and it's looking like the next few days will hopefully be nice. Hopefully we won't be pummeled by gales at the end of this passage like we were with the last one. Uh, yeah, it's been really nice. Uh, it's been pretty chilly though as you can see in Morocco. Three layers of clothing, two layers of pants, and slippers. But we're cruising a lot and feeling really good. You can see we're under full sail, which is great. And off in the distance, we can actually see our buddy boat, a uh, British flag vessel called Romano with Mike and Jill aboard. Oh, Joe's got a Boston waiter He bought in Key Biscayne And he swears that since the day he got her She's been nothing but a pain When the sun's at his back and the wind's in his face It's just him and the wheel he wouldn't take a million for the way it makes him feel, boats. Look at that moon up there. What do you say, my love? About as peaceful as it gets. We've covered about 20 miles in the last 10 hours. We're going in. Now 40 feet of sail and teak Is where old John calls home He watched his life pass before 230 or so miles from Riva Bay. Thought at one point it would be a possibility to arrive tomorrow Now it's looking like maybe we'll be about two more days <laughs> The other side got its name Vessels of freedom, harbors of healing boats. Eventually the wind increased, we sped up, and things got a little more interesting. One side or, or the other will. I think he's on the small hook, or the shorter line over here. Oh, baby, how would you go about this for 
Oops. For every meal, for get out. We can do ceviche. We can do fish. I can do fried fish tacos for lunch. I'm not eating fish for breakfast. Fair enough. That week at sea was the most peaceful of our entire voyage across the Pacific. We even spent a night sailing under spinnaker beneath the light of the moon. With another 750 nautical miles beneath our keel, we dropped our hook off the paradise that is Raivavai. And we were just in time to celebrate a very important birthday with our friends from Romano. Happy birthday, dear Mike. Happy birthday to you. Perfect. Aww. Blow it out. Make a wish. There we have it. Happy 70th. Thank you. Thieves, I believe in the goodness of heart. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's return, let it burn, let them know who we are. Whoa, whoa, whoa. An ancient tribe of the sky, the redeemer of men. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sound the song, evil gone, there's no need to defend. Way up on the mountain 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 Disappear Clear of the elephant's roar Melodies from the sea They come forward and blow In the end All my friends I return them in love Yeah, in love Me and you cook the food As we ascend above Way up on the mountain Way up on the mountain Way up on the mountain Way up on the Jessie her conk, <laughs> her horn. Woohoo! Yeah, our time in Raivavai was pretty much everything you'd hope an island experience would be. It was fun, it was exploration, and it was getting to know the natural world. And of course, boat projects. Where better to tune your rig than in the midst of the South Pacific, right? It's also, if you can't be so you can't be far enough away from a rigger, but our rigging was getting a little bit loose, so it's time to give her uh, an old heave-ho to tension her up. And lucky for us, our new friend on SB Tamata has just the tool. And then a gale settled over the island. Yeah. 
by in the Australs and uh, we opted not to leave yet mainly because this condition was blowing in and uh, over the next 24 hours we should see the winds shift from the northeast to the northwest but they should be around 28 or 30 knots gusting to 38 while we're sitting here our two other American boats we have our friends on Palmana that are going to go in and tie up to the wharf um, and then our friends over on Tamata who are with us out here at anchor thankfully we're in a really good lagoon so it's fairly well protected Winds were projected to clock around to the west-northwest during the gale. Pauhana was tied to the cement wharf with the hope of getting protection from the fetch during the most severe part of the storm. Unfortunately, the winds didn't shift, so instead of getting protection, she was hobby-horsing and bumping and grinding against the wharf. Eventually, Martin and Lexi had enough and decided to get out into the anchorage before conditions worsened. Matt from Tamata picked up Neil and his dinghy, and the two of them set out to help. It was an intense scene to watch, but eventually they maneuvered the boat safely into the lagoon. Okay. All right, pal Hannah, get off there. Come on, get off there, girl. And she's free. Check this out. After a couple days of pretty gnarly storms here in Raivavai, the waves are just beating the reef like crazy. Enormous waves. But in here, it is just calm, calm, calm. So after weathering 60 hours of storm at anchor, Behold our reward. The low has passed and we have a lovely, lovely calm. Check out the sunset. the supply ship may have arrived, it was time for us to say au revoir and head to Tahiti.
truffle pigs. If you're truffle pigs, I'll just spend the night right here with you. Find me truffle.